in this video, I am going to show you how to import the superilization data into Civil 3D drawing. Even though I have already imported this into my drawing, you only have this data in your piece of paper. So I am telling how to include them into a Excel file and then import it into the Civil 3D drawing. So I have sent you a Excel file with a name called Superlevation Sample. Once you open that, you will find something like this. So you can expand these columns by double clicking at the end. So now you can clearly see the names. So you will be entering data only in this place, in this columns, left outside and right outside lanes. So now we will start completing this one. So for super elevation re region, we always type one single value. Actually, we need the curve number here. We, instead of the curve number, we type just zero, and then we type zero for station and description. to type uh, begin normal count, begin normal count. Can make this larger by the lifting here. So begin normal count means you have a normal count. So that normal count both sides of the road would be at a super elevation of minus 2.5. Again at the same at, at the second row you type to the third row you type 0 0 and in normal count. So again this would be minus 2.5 minus 2.5 that means your alignment is going to start at minus 2.5 super elevation at the zero point so we will move back to the drawing and you will move back to your piece of paper you are you have the super elevation value so this is coming from minus 2.5 at somewhere here before the curve you get 446.9 so at that point the normal count ends the normal count ends after that point it is starting start changing the super elevation direction so we type the super elevation region as 0 and at 446.9 you get this in normal count, no? normal count ends. You will be get, getting automatic suggestions for this. And the super elevation values will be minus 2.5 and minus 2.5. Then after that, it will be coming to the full super elevation at this point. That means 482.9. It is coming to the full super elevation. At full super elevation, your left side is plus 2.5, right side is minus 2.5. So at 482.9, you begin your full super elevation. We say begin full super. Then your left side is plus 2.5, right side is minus 2.5. Then we move back to the drawing and so you go to your paper and see at the end of the part, end part of the curve you see your super elevation going back to minus 2.5 again that means it is coming back to normal count. So you call this point end full super, you call this point 
begin normal crawl. So at this point, 590.1 you got in full super and 626.1 you get begin normal crawl. So 590.1 you have in full super. Make sure you type the well, uh, type the things as it is in full super. Then this value will be plus 2.5 and minus 2.5. It will be same as the begin full super one. Then at 626.1 you have begin normal crown. So at the beginning of my count, both your super elevations will be minus 2.5. Then we move back to the other curve. In this curve also you get n plus n normal count here, 85, 855.6. Then 891.6 you get begin full super with the full super elevation of 2.5 so 855.1 you get n in normal count and this time if you closely look at the drawing you see that your left side is minus 2.5 and right side is minus 2.5 because of the in normal crown, then uh, 891.6 at zero here, you get begin full super. So in the drawing, the curve is rotating to the anti clockwise direction, so your left side would be minus 2.5 and right side would be plus 2.5. Now we move back to the end of this curve. At the end of this curve, we have uh, a compound curve. So at this location, you can see this full super elevation ends, but after that, another full super elevation begins. So we call this in super, full super elevation, and we call this begin full super elevation. This value is 1062.5. This value would be 1062.5 plus 13, that is 1075.5. So your right side would be here plus 2.5, here it would be plus 4. So 1062.5, you get n full super. So your left side is minus 2.5, right side is plus 2.5. Then at 1075.5, you get begin full super again because another full super elevation begins at that place. Now your left side is minus 4 and right side is plus 4. Then we move back to the Drawing all so at the end of this curve, you have a super elevation transition from plus 4 to uh, minus 2.5. So begin full super elevation ends. So, so, so full super elevation ends here that is 1186.4 at that point. To Full super elevation ends. So we have to add that one. So 1186.4. You get in full super. Your left would be minus 4 and right would be plus 4. Then you have the reverse crown. We, you can see here. From the drawing, this reverse crown is at 1197.5. So, in this reverse crown location, 
right side is plus 2.5, left side is minus 2.5. So at thousand one ninety seven point five, we get reverse crown a new term here. Reverse crown and we get minus two point five and plus two point five. Finally, here you get the n begin normal crown point that is. 1234.4. So we type 1234.4 and it will be begin normal crown. When begin normal crown, both sides of your road would be at minus 2.5. Finally, we have to check the last station that is the end of the alignments. After this super elevation transition, you have nothing, you have a straight. So, up to this point, you get uh, minus 2.5 super elevation. So, we have to find out what is the station or change here that can be identified from here that is 1463.6. 1463.6, this value station, 1463.6. One six sorry one six. So it is thousand sixty three point one six and at that location you know my town ends with else you can type in the alignment also you type minus two point five at both these locations. Now we have completed the superdivision table. But we have some other parts to be filled here. So all other parts you type zero. All other parts you have to type zero. Right. Now you have to save this drawing. This Type save and it will be saved. You can use the uh, same name or you can use a separate name. Make sure your file type is CSV. 